Mayor de Blasio announced an emergency plan to address the situation at Rikers Island. And new tonight, Governor Hochul is weighing in. CBS 2's Dick Brennan here in studio with more details. Dick. Christina Maurice, lawmakers who visited Rikers described disgusting conditions, inhumane, even life threatening. Ten people have died since December, and the mayor has come up with a plan, but he's been hearing it from all sides. It was, it was an awful situation. Public advocate Jamani Williams went to see for himself what's happening at Rikers, and he was appalled. Um, there were people who were literally telling us that they were thinking about committing suicide. They can't take it, particularly the, those who were by themselves with a toilet not working, no water, and we were trying to tell them to hold on. Pressure is now building on officials to quickly resolve a crisis that is decades in the making, and that includes both the mayor and the governor. Can we ask you about the situation at Rikers? It's very volatile. I'm very disturbed at what's going on there, and my staff has already been directed to find out how we can uh, play a role in making sure we eradicate the situation. And now the mayor, who has faced blistering criticism for not visiting Rikers for years, has come up with an emergency plan. It would ease overcrowding and better process detainees. It deploys the NYPD to staff the courts, shifting correction officers to the jail, and punishes absentee correction officers. Any staff member who is a wall will be held accountable with a 30-day suspension without pay. But corrections unions blasted the mayor. The offices, quite frankly, are tired of uh, being attacked and being attacked by the Blasio administration when they try to defend themselves. They don't want to come to work anymore. You can't blame them. It's a horrible, horrible uh, working environment. A bill that's passed the state legislature, the Less Is More Act, calls for limitations on the locking up of parole offenders in a state that incarcerates more people on parole violations than anywhere in the country. So are you going to sign the Less Is More Act? That I'm was looking already... at it very closely. Uh, we are looking at any issues that might be with it, but it's uh, very much uh, on my mind, and we'll be letting you know very soon. I assure you, all will be answered in the next few days. Now, that's not a yes or no. In case you didn't notice, the governor says she actually has made up her mind on the bill, but won't share her decision. But she says New Yorkers will be happy with it. Tomorrow, the city council holds a hearing on the mayor's plan for Rikers. Christina Maurice.